you're curious how big are the seats in Allegiant Air? Not real big. They're a little bit smaller than usual, I'd say, the width of them. Um, here's what we're looking at. Get an idea. So, I'm 5 foot 11, about 170 pounds, and I'm, I'm taking up this entire thing. So, Allegiant Air, pros and cons so far. I mean, I think the best thing about this airline is they fly in and out of small airports. So, we flew out of St. Petersburg Airport. Took, I think, two minutes to get through security. I think that's the best thing about it. We're flying into Niagara Falls Airport, which is another small one. Um, but the seats do not recline. <laughs> so, as you can see, they're basically, they're super, they're narrow and they don't recline. They don't give you free water, so it's three bucks for a bottle of water. And I'm told, I didn't have a beer yet, but I'm told beer is $9.25. So it is what it is. You get the low fares and uh, you get what you pay for, I guess. First time on Allegiant Air and uh, my expectations were extremely low. You go on a budget airline, you know what you're, what you're getting. Um, but we took off on time. We landed early. The seats are incredibly narrow and small. They're even a little more uncomfortable than usual. So I would say that if you are a morbidly obese individual, you should purchase at least two seats on Allegiant Air, or better yet, maybe don't even fly on Allegiant Air. <laughs> no, seriously, folks. Um, seats are slightly more narrow than usual. They do not recline. There's no free water. Those are the cons. Um, other than that, I will fly Allegiant Air again, I believe. I love these small little airports you're flying to. So right now we're arriving in uh, Niagara Falls Airport, right in the Buffalo Airport. And uh, let's take a look around here. As you can see, not the usual mobs and crowds. You got the car rentals right here. Nice and convenient, chill airport. Love it.